All right, this week's breakdown is gonna be drop footwork. to start, especially if you're a younger player, that might seem like a lot. There's a lot of li little details, a lot of little nuances whenever you're doing something like that. So what I want you guys to do first, especially if you're younger, hold the ball about to your chest and all you're going to do is jump and split your feet. So you're going to be here and do that, right? So you see how my stance is wide. It's not a skinny stance, right? The stance is here. And then you're going to hop back to bring your feet back to center hop again, hop again, okay? Keep doing that to get your footwork down so without even dribbling. The focus with this now, make sure your feet are split and make sure your feet are wide enough because if someone's guarding you, their feet are gonna be here, right? You have to be able to get as wide or wider than them. If you hit a skinny stance like this, you're gonna go straight into them. If you go this way, then you're gonna be able to get around them. So do as many reps as you need to to get comfortable with that. You could rep it too. So you could go here. Okay, and then split your feet. Whichever way you're going. So if I'm going to the right, my right foot's in front. If I'm going to the left, my left foot's in front. Now, next you want to work on something called a pocket dribble. So what a pocket dribble is, it's essentially dribbling the ball to your pocket because if you do the drop, and you do that, the ball is going to be right in front of the defender, they're going to be able to take it, right? So you want to be able to pull that back and then go forward so you're protecting the ball. Now, it's very easy to carry on this, right? So you don't want that. That's a carry. You want your hand on the side of the ball, not underneath the ball, okay? So to work on the pocket, you're just going to dribble right in front of your toe and instead of dribbling straight up, you're going to dribble and pull it back. So again, notice how my hand is on the back of the ball, not like that. That's a very, very important detail. So after you master the feet, then move on to the pocket. So then just get as many reps as you can with this. And then when you feel comfortable, switch hands. Same thing. And again, pocket, you're bringing it back to your pocket area right easy enough after you feel comfortable doing that put it all together so then you'd be here right okay switch hands when you feel comfortable with your right hand okay once you guys hit all that move on add a finish multiple different counters you could work on and then build off that